So it's the Champions League final this week, the most prestigious club competition in the world. Some of the best players of all time have won the Champions League, so I'm going to build an entire team full of them and see how well they do in FIFA's most prestigious competition, Champs Qualifying. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Look, I would play the actual champs, but it's ultimate tots rewards this week, and I can't put myself through that sweat fest. So let's build a team. We're starting with the goalkeeper, and there were a lot of options that have won the Champions League, like Alisson, Van der Sar, and Cassias. But I didn't even consider that. This was an easy choice, because from my experience of playing against this man... Come on... How has he saved that? He's the best keeper in the game. It's Pelicek team of the year. And by the way, there is something I didn't tell you. Every player I pick means I can't use one of his teammates he won the Champions League with. So for example, Czech won it in 2012 with Chelsea. And now that I've picked him, his teammates Lampard and Drogba are locked away and I can't use them. I thought this was something fun so I don't end up with something like prime Barcelona and my team is actually unique. And it's definitely not a way to fit the team inside the budget, I promise. You're wrong! So right back then, now this one is the best right back of all time, it's Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh my god, bro. Oh. Alright, fine, it's Cafu, how boring. But Trent will get there one day though, trust me, in 10 years you won't be laughing. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. But uh, anyway, Cafu won it in 2007 with Milan, so Kaka is now locked away. Onto the first centre back then, and it's the best centre back of all time, it's Virgil van Dijk. Yes, I'm, I'm being, being serious. serious. He's been there, done that, won it all. He has pace, strength, stamina, and the most important thing every player needs, aura. Are you serious right now, bro? So he won it in the most entertaining Champions League final, 2019, when my club Liverpool won the Champions League. So unfortunately I can't use Salah or Mane, but it's a small sacrifice to pay when I get the best centre-back in the game. Even if it's just his gold card and we're in June now, he's still the best. And his centre-back partner, it's another all-timer centre-back, Maldini. He's won the Champions League five times, all with Milan. And fun fact, the first time he won it, way back in 1989, Carlo Ancelotti was his teammate. I don't know why, but I just find that fascinating. Wow. And even though he won it in 2007 with Cafu, as he's won it four other times, I'll just take him for one of those winning teams instead of the 2007 Milan team so I can still use him. So onto the left back now, and we're staying in Milan, but going on the other side of the uh, stadium. It's Zanetti, who won it in 2010 with Inter. Don't care. Now you might have noticed, I'm using loans and also not the best versions of some players, but that's because the budget has been saved on the midfield and attack. So we'll start here in this spot. This man made up one third of the best midfield of all time. And he might have been the best of the three. It's not the one you're thinking of Xavi, and it's not Iniesta, he's not even in the game. It's Busquets, one of the most underrated players ever. And if you don't rate him, you're just not understanding football as a sport and the frequency and wavelength. What? Listen, bottom line is, I really like Busquets, and we're taking him from Barca's 2011 squad, so I can still take a special someone from either their 2009 or 2015 teams. But before that, it's his midfield partner. And this man may be as tall as a leprechaun, but it's not about the size of the dog in the fight, it's about the size of the fight in the dog. And this man has that dog in him. He's a vicious, stone-cold killer. It's N'Golo Kante. Aww. The last centre mid, obvious for me, probably the most clutch player ever, it's Steven Gerrard. This means guys like Xavi, Modric, Zidane all miss out, but I'm sorry, you're just going to have to accept the Liverpool fan bias. I like it! And now, the attacking midfielder. This man needs no introduction, it's the greatest of all time, Lionel Messi. Wish I could afford a better version, but it's still Messi at the end of the day, he's still good enough for me. And we'll take him from Barca's 2015 team, which means we can use their 2009 team to bring in CBS finest Thierry Henry. Unfortunately for him, Kate Abdo isn't in the team. Are you serious right now, bro? So with 10 spots filled, you might notice I haven't added a single Real Madrid player yet, even though they're the record Champions League winners. So let's change that and put in their greatest ever player, Cristiano Ronaldo. Some people even call him the best footballer of all time, but not me. Messi is the man for me. So that's a complete team, and if you're wondering who's on the bench, it's De Bruyne from Man City last year, Modric from 2022 Real Madrid, and Davis from 2020 Bayern Munich. And the rest of it is just bronze players, because three subs is enough for me. Five is just woke nonsense gone too far. And the manager is obviously the most successful Champions League manager, the eyebrow merchant himself. He costs 4,000 coins by the way, so he better come with his eyebrow powers, because that price is just ridiculous for a manager. Ridiculous. So we'll be going into champs qualifiers with this team, and we only need four wins to qualify, so as I only have five games with my loan players, let's make it exciting. If I don't get four wins before my loans expire, I'm going to buy the actual cards just to quick sell them. Oh damn, that's a good team. Let's get a good start man. Messi, Henri. Oh okay. Oh! I didn't expect that. I just, I just shot because he backed off. Go on, Skinner, Gerard, smash it. Ah, oh, easy rebound though. 
I kind of feel bad though, I hate conceded rebounds. I know what this guy's going through right now, and it's not pretty. Nice Zernetti, Henri, finesse, perfect finish. Oh, that's a typical Thierry Henri goal, isn't it? Oh, hold up, he's not quitting. Okay, I guess he wants more punishment then. Finish him! Chip him, Henri. Ah, oh, he scored a fourth, he's unreal, man. And now he's finally had enough. Hey, okay, disconnected. Oh. I almost feel bad for what I'm about to do. So let's see, go on, mate. What a turn. Into Henri. Easy. Thierry, how far can you go? Into Ronaldo. Oh, finally, someone else scored. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. Two. Oh my god, straight from his kickoff, I've scored again. Oh, why is he doing that celebration? Let me do the sue. Oh, oh is he going? Hey, disconnect. Yeah, he's gone. Easy. Okay. okay, he's done his thing. This might be a tough match. I want to try out Messi's dribbling. I haven't had a chance to yet. 1 2 with Busquets. Very nice. Like the good old days. Henri. Oh, what a pass, Messi. He's in. Oh my goodness, he's unreal, man. What a goal. Oh, Maldini, you've got to get that. Oh, damn. Oh, what a goal. This might actually be a hard game. Never mind. <laughs> oh, is that a penalty? There's no way that's a pen. I actually feel bad. Kante is just too small. Even a feather could ground it. But do I feel bad enough to miss it? Hell no. Come on, Penaldo. Have it. Perfect. No sue, though. I still feel a bit bad. But is he going? Oh, great. Okay. Decent team, but beatable. Oh, man. He sent me. Yeah. Oh, come on. There's no need to celebrate, though. Nah, I have to beat him now. Time to lock in. Nice Maldini. Oh, Busquets. Please. Please. No! Oh, yes, Van Dyke. Ugh, here we go again. Bruv, what am I meant to do? He's messy, get me back in it. Space there, Kante. Go on, Kante, finish it! Oh, Kante, what are you doing? Thank you. Oh my god, bro. I can't do anything when I get the ball. Oh, he's in again. Okay, okay. Yep. That's a ridiculous finish. Ugh. Lads, I'm quitting. This guy is like F2 text or something. He's slapping me about. I've got no chance. I can't believe it, but it's actually going down to the last game for my loans, Petacek and Zanetti. So I have to win to save my coins. Daddy Cruel? What on earth? Oh, for God's sake, I forgot to check his team. Oh, I'm so dumb, man. So stupid. Wait. Wait a sec. Oh my God, no way. No way. Is he going to pause it? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. That was easy.